Today, today you'll learn you'll learn how to use nano bananas, nano bananas, and VO3 to make viral hooks. Viral hooks. <laughs> Are you ready to learn? All right, let's dive in. Step one: creating the image with nano banana. First step. Step one: Make an image using Nano Banana. Open up Gemini. Make sure you've selected 2.5 Flash Mode. Then click on Tools and choose Create Images. For this example, I'm using a picture of me and a picture of a robot. Then type in the prompt: Replace the man in Figure One with Figure Two, 16 to 9 ratio. Nano Banana understands simple language, so we don't need complicated prompts. After that, hit submit. And just like that, our image is generated. Hmm. The first result isn't quite what I wanted. See how the text here looks out of place? We can fix that by typing in a new request. Remove monetize with AI words. And there we go. The new image looks great. You'll notice it only swapped the person, but the background and all the other details are still there, perfectly preserved. But when we generate images in Gemini using Nano Banana, they have this watermark. So for our next step, we need to remove it. First, click the download button to save the image. Now head over to Canva and set your canvas to a 16 to 9 ratio. Drag the image onto the canvas, click Edit, and then select Magic Eraser. Just select the watermark area and click Erase. Just like that, the watermark is gone. Back on the canvas, click Set Image as Background. Then, click Share to download the image to your computer. If you can't use Canva, you can also use a site like Hama.app. It works in a similar way to remove the watermark, but you might lose a little bit of image quality. Use whichever one works best for you. The reason I use Canva is that it doesn't just remove watermarks, it can also upscale the image quality. Click on Apps on the left side, search for Image Upscaler, select Upscale Resolution, and then click to upscale our image. Now we have a much sharper, clearer picture. Step 2. Create a video using VO3. Go to the Google Flow platform. First, switch to the Frames to Video option. Then, click on Settings. For Aspect Ratio, choose 16 to 9. I'm demonstrating with Landscape, but since VO3's update, you can now choose a Portrait 9 to 16 ratio. For Output, Let's choose one. For the model, select VO3 Fast. We're going to need two video clips. Let's start with the first one. The first video will start with my photo. Upload the image and then enter this prompt. The character speaking into the camera saying, I heard some friends want to see my real self. Hmm. Pause one second and saying, Okay, I'll satisfy everyone today. The film was shot from a fixed angle, with no captions, no transitions, no background music, no sound effects, no cut. I just made that up on the spot, so feel free to get creative here. Okay, here we go. To save time, let's generate the second video at the same time. The prompt for this one is, the character speaking into the camera saying, Yep, this is the real me and then the character threw his head back and laughed. The film was shot from a fixed angle, with no captions, no transitions, no background music, no sound effects, no cut. BAM! Both videos are done. They look pretty good. I'm happy with the overall result. Before you download, don't forget to upscale the video to 1080p, and then hit download. But wait! 
the next step is the most important one. Step 3. Making the transformation video. This part is crucial, so pay close attention. First, open up CapCut. Import the videos you just generated with VO3. We can trim the clips a little bit. For example, the very end of this first video doesn't look great, so I'm going to delete it. Now, listen carefully. Drag the timeline to the very last frame of the first video. Click the button in the top right corner of the preview window and select Export Still Frame. Do the same thing for the second video, but this time, export the very first frame. Now we have two images, a start frame and an end frame. Next, we can use an AI tool to create a video that transitions between these two frames. You can use any tool with a start frame to end frame feature, like Kling AI, Hiluo AI, or FlexClip. To make things easy, I'm going to use FlexClip, which I'm already familiar with. Go to FlexClip. Select AI Video Generator. Click to enable end frame to turn on the feature. Upload your start and end frame images. Enter a simple prompt like, the man touched his head with his hand and smiled, then transformed naturally. Then hit generate. A few minutes later, our transformation video is done. Looks pretty cool. Let's download it. Now, head back to CapCut. Import the transformation video you just made. Place all three video clips on the same track. The transformation feels a little slow, so we can speed it up a bit. Next, let's add a sound effect to the transformation. I'm going to generate an AI sound effect right in FlexClip. Find the navigation, click audio, and then go to AI sound effects. Once you're in, type a simple prompt like AI robot transformation sound effect. If you don't like the first one, just generate it again. And now we've got our sound effect. Import it into CapCut and adjust the speed and length as needed. I didn't record my voice for this tutorial part, but you'll see the complete version in a moment. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay, I've got two final details to take care of. I need to replace the VO3 generated voice with my own. Select the first video clip, right click, and hit Extract Audio. Then, delete that audio track. I'll drop in my own voiceover, which I prepared earlier. Once that's done, select the last video clip and do the same thing. Extract Audio. Now, select the new audio track. Go to Voice Changer in the top right and click on Voice Characters. I'm choosing the robot voice for this one. And with that, we're pretty much done. Let's check out the final result. I heard some friends want to see my real self. Hmm. Okay. I'll satisfy everyone today. Yep. This is real me. <laughs> Okay guys, what do you think? The hook is super important for any video. And of course, this is just a starting point to get your ideas flowing. To create even cooler and better hooks, you'll need to use your own creativity. You can find links to all the tools I used in this video in the description below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I post one or two new videos every week. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel you might find some unexpected inspiration. If you have any questions, or if you want me to explore other tools or niches, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck.